What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about Rainbow Six Siege. I'm actually playing this beta right now and I got some kind of mixed, mixed thoughts on the game. Uh, a few things I'll say about it. Right now the game looks pretty decent. It's not a very ugly game. It looks fairly pleasing to the eye, but I do notice a huge graphical downgrade from what they showed us when the game was first announced. The game does not look nearly as beautiful and as polished as it, as it did during the announced trailer or the subsequent videos that they released showing the game gameplay footage of you rescuing hostages and whatnot. The game does not look like that. Um, but it does look pretty decent. I've had major issues in the last 24 hours of getting into matches. My wife and I were, were joined together in a party, then we go into the game and many times, it frustrated me so much last night I just left and went to another game. Um, many times we were kicked straight out back to the PlayStation menu. You also get kicked out many times in the middle of a match. You're just running and all of a sudden you just, you're just you out of the game. So I'm hoping that this is taken care of. We all know in the past that we've had major uh, network issues with certain developers and publishers and I'm hoping that that doesn't happen here uh, because I want to talk about the gameplay now. Five versus five. Okay, uh, when you're playing against another team of human combatants, it's five versus five. Uh, you, you're basically trying to find um, a stash of, I, I guess it would be a nuclear type of bomb or something like that, in the beta. Now, we haven't seen any of the rescuing, um, rescuing hostages that hasn't happened in the beta at all. Basically, you're either trying to protect this stash or you're trying to find this stash and, and retrieve it. And uh, it's five versus five. You're, you start at a starting point and the other team starts where the bomb is. And when you start at the starting point, you actually get about 30 seconds with a little drone. You can go through the house with your drone, find out exactly where this stash is if you're lucky enough to find it. And that gives your team uh, kind of a, a much better starting position. You know where you're going, how to get there. I like how they've implemented these different ways of traversal. You can run up to the house, you can zip line straight up to the top of the house, run around, jump along the side of the house, go through windows. It's all really cool. I like the way that that was done. Uh, but I'm trying to figure out at what point this is going to get boring. I, I really like the stuff that they've done as far as you can hide in certain ways, you can build up walls in front of you, you can build up doors, cover doors, blow up walls, ceilings, floors, all that stuff. They've got lots of different weapons, different classes that you can pick. But I'm wondering if this is going to get old soon. I mean, doing the same thing over and over again, over and over again, it might be fun for a while, kind of like Evolve. Kind of like Titanfall, there's no other story to the game. There's no story. In a game like this, I think it really should have one. You're going to just be doing this over and over again. Now in the beta, at least, you've got the 5 versus 5 mode, but you've also got um, a mode where you team up with four other humans and go against uh, non-player characters or NPCs. And I think there's 20 of them in each house when you do that mode, and that's pretty, f pretty fun. I played on normal and the AI was really stupid and it made my videos look really good, but when you play on hard mode or like hardened mode, they will destroy you like in one second. The gunplay feels very similar to Battlefield and it's really, uh, I guess it's an acquired taste for people. For me, Battlefield and Call of Duty's gunplay feels totally different and some people like one versus the other. I'm more of a Call of Duty type of gunplay guy. I like when I pull the trigger of a gun for it to feel accurate. And when I play Battlefield, when I pull the trigger of a gun, the gun goes flying everywhere. You guys know what I'm talking about. This is one of those type of situations. Rainbow Six's weapons feel kind of like Battlefield's weapons. Where you pull the trigger and your gun kind of kicks back and it sprays in different directions. I guess maybe uh, as time goes on and you unlock more weapons, you'll find more weapons that are more fine-tuned for the playstyle that I like. But for right now, I guess it's something neither here nor there because it's a beta. Uh, I gotta say I enjoyed the beta. I think the beta was pretty cool. Uh, I, I really enjoy playing with you know some of my friends who actually got in on the beta playing with my wife but I'm curious as to whether or not this game is actually going to have the legs that it needs to be a $60 game. I think that modes like this, it feels like a mode, it doesn't feel like a game, it feels like an extra. Um, and I feel like if you're going to pay $60 for a game like this it needs to have a lot of replayability. And I'm wondering whether or not Rainbow Six Siege is going to have that. As it stands right now the game looks pretty good. Doesn't look like it. They sold us, you know. It doesn't look like they told us it was going to look. That dream that they sold us initially is not true. 
Uh, the gunplay feels okay. I think that the AI, especially on normal mode, is really stupid. Uh, I like breaching the house. I like going down the basement. I like looking for people. I like uh, defending. Defending actually feels really cool. Each class has two different offshoots. There's the attack and defend. So if you're an attacker, you get special things like uh, sledgehammers to break through walls or drones, or you have the ability to uh, locate any electronics on the map. If you're defending, you can build up walls. You have a little portable wall that you can put up in front of you. Um, you can throw down barbed wire, electrified barbed wire, all kinds of crazy stuff to defend against anyone looking to attack and find your position. So it's pretty cool how they implemented all that stuff. I'm just curious as, as to whether or not I think this is a $60 game. At this point, I'm not really sure it's worth $60 bucks with no single player campaign, no story mode. I think a lot of developers are going that way because the internet is where we are. But I think that uh, so far the beta has been pretty decent. I hope that they get this network network issue fixed um, because that's a very distressing thing to try to get into a game over and over and over again and not be able to get in because every time you try to play, you get kicked back to the menu screen. I hope that gets taken care of. Hopefully the game looks slightly better when it's released and they, they add more modes. It needs to be a lot of modes, not just the two that's on the beta. I would say for a $60 game, you need to have at least eight or nine modes for people to play and enjoy for this game to actually be worth 60 bucks. If you guys have had a chance to play the beta, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support of this channel, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe today. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.